On October 21st at approximately 8 p.m., we did receive a call in reference to a structure fire out in Brownsville. And when we arrived on scene, what we found was that there were two occupants inside the home. We had 10-year-old Skylar Typher, and he was home with his grandmother at the time. My grandma couldn't put out the fire because she has been amputated for, I think it's been one year and she is in a wheelchair and the fire was upstairs, not downstairs, so we can get her up. The grandmother um, actually called Skylar's mother and then through a series of phone calls, which included 911, um, he did get on the phone with his father who told him to turn the light switches off, so he did that as well. Well, she just told me to go grab the fire extinguisher and go put it out and then she called my mom. While well, my grandma was calling my mom and I went downstairs to, and I was grabbing it and it was 2004 model and so I went back upstairs and I was seeing how to oh, um, like work it because it wouldn't click on the trigger. So I just pulled out the key and hoped for the best. <laughs> For a 10-year-old, Skyler's um, actions and his quick thinking is really what um, caught the attention of the firefighters arriving on scene. Um, Skyler didn't panic at all. He did the right thing. I was kind of afraid that it might not work because it was a really old fire extinguisher. I pulled the key and I just fired and, and then it got hard to breathe with the smoke all around. I, I could only shoot through a crack in the glass so it was so it came back. I had to reshoot it again. If I wasn't there to put out the fire, it probably could have burned down the house. If you have an extinguisher in your home, I do ask that you check it, check the expiration date, make sure it's um, pressurized. Um, they do expire. Um, they're not expensive, so I do recommend going and buying a new one if you're not sure how long you've had it. And this may sound ridiculous, but make sure you know where it is. Well, for them to always be calm, don't like freak out and just, you know, believe in yourself to get it done. Well, I don't think I could handle being a firefighter. I think that would be too much for me. I'll probably do something, you know, quiet. <laughs>